Hey. hey. This is Kelsey. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I'm Kelsey. Kelsey is a YouTuber. Yep, that's what they say. You YouTube as, sensation. Would you identify as a YouTuber? Like, does that fit your... I mean, it makes no sense because that's, like, <laughs> <laughs> truly yeah. what I do. Yeah. Um, but I do feel really weird saying it mm -hmm. every time. Wait, why do you feel weird saying it? Because it's, like, so random. Yeah. Like, it's so random, like, that I... Be, like fell it like fell into this whole mm -hmm. world and yeah. so like I just never really have like come to terms with it yeah and so now I just like I'm like yeah I, I make YouTube videos that's usually what I say you make YouTube videos yeah how long have you been doing this like three years wait like, I really be, recently like, okay yeah that's like yeah I thought you had been I doing don't this know. for like 10 years no or something. okay no okay I don't know like I guess like for me I'm like three years that's like a really long time but I yeah. guess like people have been doing yeah People have made, have had their channels for like so long. Well, now it's like at a point where it's like, cause YouTube used to be new. So like you, like everyone was kind of new and right. now it's like been around like 10 years. So yeah. there's YouTubers who've had it for like 10 years. Right. But no, it's been, I think I started in like, I guess it's probably around my 40 year anniversary. Damn. In December. Damn. Yeah. What made you get into this? Um, so when I started dating Cody, mm -hmm. he was like, doing it yeah and I was working a job that I really didn't like yeah what was the job and I was nannying okay um and so I taught preschool and I loved teaching mm -hmm. but I like just I couldn't like support myself teaching full-time anymore like living in LA was it really like they really didn't pay you that much at all you couldn't no, even I made like 13 50 an hour okay and Jesus like so Christ. I like like which is so sad that's crazy yeah like and it's not like like my boss could only do so much. Yeah. Like it, it's just, it is what it is. Um, Wait, how old were you when you had that job? I, I was right out of college. So okay. like 20, I started like subbing at the school when I was like 19 and okay. then worked there full time when I was like 21, 22. Mm -hmm. Did and you then, know, like from the get go, that's what you wanted to do? Yeah. Okay. Um, and how? Then, wait, like how, like when you were a kid, you knew that? Yeah. I just have always really liked kids. <laughs> that's awesome and my mom was a teacher but okay. my mom was like an eighth grade teacher and I was like no that's not yeah. for me but like I don't know I was like the only thing that makes sense I just knew I got along with kids and yeah. so I was like I just want to work with kids mm -hmm. but then I just had to like I didn't love my boss but like I would have stuck it out but it was just like not worth the money I couldn't mm -hmm. I couldn't do anything I could kind of eat and like yeah. that's it like live right and of, pay my yeah. rent and that was it um, so then I started nannying cause it just like, they get paid so much more, but I just hated it. Mm -hmm. Like, wait, it, why? I just, I'm like scared that I don't know why, how they would be listening. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're so scared of them to this day. Like, what I, can they even do? I, <laughs> I don't know. They were nice. Was it one family? It was one family okay. and it was, they were like, they were totally fine. They really like meant well, but okay. it was just like. I didn't know what to like ask for in like, I didn't know what to ask for in being a nanny. Like I didn't know to say like, how do you want me to like discipline them? Do you want me yeah. to step in? Do you want me to like, I didn't know any questions to ask. They didn't know like to like schedule me. Like they thought I was just like kind of like on demand. Yeah. So like it would be like, oh, we actually need you to stay until 1 a.m. When they yeah. told me I could leave at seven. So then I like had plans and then I, yeah. it was just stuff like that. And I just, and the kids would call me a fucking asshole. They would literally they say would that. call you asshole? Yeah. Like, no, fu fucking asshole. Wait, why? Did they not? I don't know. They How were like they? little British kids and they like, okay. just were like, they were like four. They were four? They were like, you fucking asshole. Interesting. Kelsey. And the mom would be like, come on, don't say that. Did you and grow like, like a love for the kids at that point or not really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel really bad saying that. It was like... The, I liked the parents. Interesting. But the kids, I was like, you guys are mean. Yeah. Like they, they were just like, like they bratty. were like spoiled. Yeah. I'm okay. so scared. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I love you now. She like, list oh my God. I can cut Love out. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> They're like older now. And she's like, I see you on TikTok. She still texts me. Yeah. The little girl. Wait, the little girl, not the mom. No, I haven't spoken to the mom since I left. How long did you work for the family? Like six months, like okay. not long. That's still like pretty decent amount of time though. Six yeah. months, yeah. Um, but anyway, so Cody was doing YouTube mm -hmm. and he was like, I, I just loved that he could like travel and like he was his own boss and whatever. And he asked me to be in a video 
And I just like, I felt really like natural doing it and I really liked it. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to just be like Cody's girlfriend. Like, I don't want to be the girl that just shows up in his videos every once in a while. And like Mm -hmm. people think I'm funny, but like, don't know anything about me. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, if I'm going to show up in his videos, like I want to have my own. Yeah. And so I, that's what I did. And I was like, I want to, I want to try. Yeah. And I tried and it worked out. I love that. And so I was able to, I quit my job, but I like wasn't making money on YouTube yet. Like my channel hadn't been monetized, Mm -hmm. but I was like, it'll be fine. So you quit the nannying job. mm -hmm. That was okay. And then I started subbing Mm -hmm. preschool again. And I still work at the preschool Mm -hmm. just to like keep me sane. Which one's like your primary job in your eyes? YouTube. YouTube. Why? Because. (laughs) Does it take up more of your time? No, but it's like. I only go into the school like once a week, okay. if that. And so it's like, that's, that's more fun for me. Mm-hmm. Whereas like YouTube, I like, it like, I need to like. It's work. Yeah. And it just, which it, it's like, I, what I'm vlogging, like what I'm eating, like it's not that hard, but yeah. it's like, I have such like, I'm just like, I'm like, why am I, what am I doing? Like, yeah. I feel so weird every time I like post on Instagram. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm so like the imposter syndrome is like, yeah. <laughs> very strong yeah um but I love it and like and when I do it normally like once I start posting like frequently then mm-hmm. I'm like this feels really good yeah. but if I take a break I like all of a sudden go back to like why am I doing this no one wants what yeah. am I doing yeah and that's like with posting on Instagram YouTube any of that you feel the imposter syndrome um I think probably more Instagram describe like exactly what you feel like what do you mean I, okay. Cause I understand I don't know. the imposter. Thing. I think it's, I'm not even sure exactly. I think it's more that like YouTube, I feel pretty comfortable mm-hmm. posting on whatever, but with Instagram, it's like, I have been like a normal person and I still am a normal person, but yeah. like I went through high school. I went through college. Like I was like just Kelsey yeah. like for a really long time. And so there's like a lot of people that like, I'm still, that like still follow me on Instagram because they knew me like in in college. college. And so, and all of a sudden now I'm like, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Like, and it's just like so fucking weird probably for them and for me. But then it's like, it's not like I have like a thousand followers and I'm like, Hey you guys just checking in, like, you know, Mm -hmm. like doing something like that. Like it makes sense why I would like want to interact with the people who follow me because I like the people who follow me, but I just am like, Though that chunk of people that knew me from before, I'm like, they're going to think this is weird. Isn't it weird how like people who don't have that quality, like of like kind of like a humbleness or like not even humbleness. It's more of just like of like a groundedness. Like it it doesn't like help you. It doesn't like no. reward, you don't like yeah. that quality doesn't get rewarded. No. It rewards you if you actually like don't have it at all. Right. And you just are so good with being yes. like, hey guys, yeah. what's up? <laughs> Look, go subscribe down below. Right. It's just interesting. I know. And I, but I think like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to be like that either. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I like that. I'm like still the same person that I was in college or whenever. Mm -hmm. I mean, to a certain extent, but like, I don't like, I don't know. I wish I could be like, there's people that I follow, like from high school who like, I just follow because it's so entertaining to me that like, yeah, talk to their like Instagram, like they're like the biggest star in the world. And I'm yeah. like, this is amazing. Like, how yeah. do you do this? Yeah. How, like, Kenny, can you teach me? Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I'm getting better with it. Yeah. And like, I feel like doing stuff like this helps because yeah. like it makes it all feel more real. Yeah. Except like, yeah, I don't know, but I'm getting more used to it. Yeah. It hasn't been that long. Yeah. It kind of has, but. What was the first video you did with Cody? Like, what was it? He, um, he had like a PO box Okay. and we like went and picked up the mail from the PO box and like opened up all the packages and like mm-hmm. saw what people were sending. In. Like a reveal. Okay. Yeah. Like an unboxing video. Yeah. yeah pretty okay. much. Interesting. But he was like, I remember like before, cause I was like, yeah, I'll do it with you. Like that would be fun. And he was like, I just want you to know, like people sometimes can be mean, like the comments can be mean. I and love like, that he warned he you. He was like, so he sweet. like sat me down and was like, don't take any of it to heart. And I was like, I really don't care. Yeah. And he was like, okay. Did he say that before you guys started filming? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, it was nice. 
That's interesting that he's so paranoid, but he also gets it. Like he also is just like, I know, like yeah. I just want to let you know before yeah. you do anything on right. my channel, like that this happens. And I think, and it never, like that kind of stuff doesn't bother me mm -hmm. really. Has it ever bothered you? No, Why? not really. Because it's like. Do you think you're like, you're secure with yourself? I'm pretty, I have a pretty strong sense of self, yeah. I would say, but also like, I just, what. I, who is who is making these comments? Yeah, like it just it's like <laughs> stupid to me. Yeah, because um, also it's like it's not that deep. Like this is a YouTube video. Like, yeah, you can make one too. Like just go mm. make your own or do whatever. Don't watch my videos. Like yeah. I don't care. Uh, and I'm not like my videos are when I'm on Cody's videos or whatever. Like I'm, I'm not trying to be any sort of way, and I'm just yeah. like very much being myself. And so, if someone doesn't like it, like I don't. I'm sorry. I, that I could just, be, you could have this like flip argument to that though. Of like, I, if you are being yourself yeah, no, and I someone know. doesn't like I it, know. it's like, oh my God, <laughs> fuck. I know. I, that is true. Sometimes, like sometimes people will call me and be like, finally, someone did their fucking hair today. And it's like, oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> let's relax. <laughs> like what? It's yeah. just like stupid stuff like that. <laughs> but like, I, I think about it for maybe like two seconds and then it's like, yeah, let me see your hair. Yeah. You know? I guess that comes down from like just having like a security in yourself. Yeah. And I feel like I've always had like a pretty, pretty, pretty strong sense of self, I would say. Are your parents still together? Mm hmm. Do you have siblings? Mm hmm. How many siblings? I have an older brother. <laughs> I love him. Hey, Kev. You look so suspicious. No. I'm like still trying to figure out if he's my brother. No. Okay. no. Yeah. no <laughs> How old is he? He's 30. Okay. I'm 28. We're very close in age. Mm -hmm. um, but he is, uh, he's the best. Yeah. We're close. My parents are like obsessed with each other. Yeah. It's all nice. Like I, yes, this is why you have a strong sense of self. I know. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Fuck. I wish I had no, more to I'm, say. That's fucking awesome. Like, it's, that's it fu is. I'm proud of it. You know what? You should be. That's, it's not something yeah. that's fucking delusional. And so backwards to not be that's awesome yeah I, yeah I think it's like it's so weird that stuff like that has become like well then that's why you're fine because you've never had to like and it's like I'm not saying that it, things have always been easy but it is really nice that I've had like a solid example of like mm -hmm. people in love and my brother and it's it's been like that's yeah. it's nice to have that like um like safety yeah and they're close and it's, it's just nice. Yeah. Just a solid foundation. Yeah, exactly. That's the word I was looking for. Also too, like your parents could have just like, like been two healthy people who like picked the right people. Like yeah. that, isn't that what we're all trying that's to achieve? Right. Like, exactly. You know? I know. I know. Um, do people say that to you? People say like, Oh, this is why you turned out fine. No, I just feel like that's kind of like, like if you're not, like, don't you feel like nowadays you mm -hmm. have to be talking about like something that's like bad in order for people to like respect you? Like something I, like bad I know, that happened to yeah. you. I know what you're saying. And I'm not saying like that that's like, I, I think yeah. I'm glad that people are opening up and are feel like safe and comfortable enough now in the mm -hmm. world to be able to talk about those things. And like, there are things that like, I'll probably talk about one day, but like, yeah. I, I don't, I think that like everyone's stories regardless of if they're happy or if they're traumatic or intense like everyone should have feel comfortable to share them no totally I understand what you're saying with this like if you haven't gone through any sort of adversity it's like you don't earn our respect yeah now. like yeah. I, I definitely see that um I remember like watching like American Idol when I was younger and there was like this one family because it's all about like their stories like American Idol yeah and there was this one family that was like I don't like my parents are still together. Like we just yeah. like, like I don't really have like a sob story. Yeah. I remember being like, I fucking love her. Like, yeah. She's so cute and like just honest and real. And like, so I feel like there's like a spot for like everybody, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. And just because like, just because you have like that, your parents are still together. You have a good family or whatever. It doesn't mean nothing's ever happened to you. No, and I think that not that, at all. I think people just assume that that's yeah. what that means. Yeah. And that's just not the case yeah. because you eventually grow up and like are on your own in life. And yeah. Shit happens. Life has a lot of suffering for everyone. Totally, it's totally. Like, it's like the yes. whole thing of life. It's yeah. the whole joke. Right. So it's just like how much it's like how much suffering have you had? It's like a yeah. war. <laughs> no, you know? totally. And yeah. it's but it's like we've all we've all been through stuff. Yeah.
and I'm not saying like that means that I'm mm-hmm. not like diminishing what anyone I know, is like. I know it's so sensitive that we always have to like, I know. like make sure I, every word we I say know, is fine. I know, but I'm I'm just careful and you're respectful and yeah. You're yeah, trying to include them. I trust me, I get it. I'm the same way. I'm a good person. Like, yeah. <laughs> Kelsey's a good person. She wants you to know. You are. You are. Thanks. But no, damn. It's also weird, like like I remember seeing some of the comments like on when I started this podcast, like just basically the same. Just the same thing. Of just like just like like all like assumptions like about you yes. just yes. put out and they're not even correct. Right. Not, like, they hear like, like one thing about you yeah. and then they're like, oh, well, yeah, that's why you're happy. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, I get that though. Cause like, I guess like you have to like make judgments to like go through life. And like, to, if you see like a girl, you just like compare like, or see like any person like that you don't know. Well, you just like subconsciously I do this too you have to do this I think everyone does you just compare them to another person that you met like that yeah you know and you just assume that they're like that yeah like when you you know what I mean yeah right yeah totally yeah Yeah, like if you're like a waiter at a restaurant and like you get a table and you've had like you just like associate them with like oh that they're that kind of person right you know without knowing anything about them and I definitely got a lot about a lot of that and I was just like this is so interesting like people like just really like think they have you figured out and like they're really down to like you know criticize they're down to tell you yeah yeah it's 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 scary yeah it's interesting um another thing that I wanted to share was how oh Kelsey and I met. Oh my God. I do actually love this. <laughs> no, me story. too. I love this story. I genuinely like love this story. Um, Kelsey and I were at, um, Saddle Ranch. We, how many we years were at you? Saddle Ranch. Um, this was like 2019. <laughs> this is Wait, before Saddle Ranch no, was popular. This was before, right before COVID. Yeah. This, this was like was January, before COVID. 2020. Yeah. yeah. Was it 2020? I think Already? so. Yeah. I think it was, it was January. Of 2020. It was before, I know it was before Saddle Ranch was a thing. Yeah, Saddle Ranch became popping like during COVID. During They're like COVID. the only business that like, <laughs> like the only like restaurant yeah. that like completely thrived during yeah. COVID, which like, I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting now I drove past it and, but side note, and it it's like kind of dead now. Like Is it? It, it? it spiked and went down already. Oh, sad. Yeah, I kind of want to go. Like, I still like I want to go back. Mm-hmm. I've been like a couple times and they've always just been like, yeah. Well, the first time was nice. Yeah. Was that your first time? Maybe, like, maybe, maybe I had been, like, a really long time ago. Yeah. But, like, that was probably, like, my first time. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. Okay, so we were at Saddle Ranch. Do you want, you actually say it better. You remembered more of this than I did <laughs> when we, when we were, like, debriefing the other, like, because you remembered that I, I didn't, I have such a terrible memory. My sister can contest. I, I have, have a really good memory. amnesia, so it's really bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not kidding. What? I know. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. so sad. I'm I know. sorry. It's, I'm trying to fix it. I really am. I'll fix it one day. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. So please. Um, <laughs> okay. I have no idea what happened. I'm like, please, like, believe me because I'm being serious. I believe you. (laughs) Um, But so I went to Saddle Ranch and we had, I was like, we were with our friends. Like the people that I hang out with normally are just like friends from just not this life. I feel not like they're not like YouTube friends. Like they're like. Cody's like best friends from school and like mm-hmm. my best friends from school. Like they're just like people we've known like for forever. Yeah. And so we were like with just our normal friends and we went to this like banquet before. Mm-hmm. And so we were in like banquet. We went to this like banquet. What's yes. like a what's it was like, like a, a fundraiser. Banquet? You know what I mean? Like what is I a don't banquet? fucking even know. Like, like we had to that? wear like it was like a black tie. Mm-hmm. And we it was like a fundraiser. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. I don't know. I have yeah. no idea. But it was like our friend, like a friend of a friend mm-hmm. was like, you guys have to come to this. And okay. we were like, for some reason, like all the guys were like, yeah, let's go to this fundraiser. And <laughs> the girls were like, we don't have ball gowns. Yeah. Like, so so we're easy like, to throw on the one tux. You yeah, have. <laughs> exactly. So we go and it's like out. We don't usually leave like Venice area. And it was out in like, by, in like West Hollywood. And so we were out there and we're in like full gowns mm-hmm. and heels. And I have like Cody's like suit jacket on and Cody was like let's go meet up with like Todd yeah and Zane and Matt and all that yeah. at Saddle Ranch yeah and we were like okay we're out here we might as well so we show up and 
I'm, we're just like so out of place. <laughs> like we are like in gowns. Like it was so embarrassing. For some, like in my head, like I see, I didn't even like have you wearing a gown. And, well, like, I'm I really happy about that. Cause yeah. I just remember being like, like I really like liked talking to you yeah. and I was like, this is so embarrassing. She probably thinks that like I, I wore this like dress out. Like, I don't know. I was so embarrassed for some reason. Cause I was like, fuck, that was weird. Like that was weird. It wasn't even like a cute outfit. It was like, I had r- come home. I was like subbing that day or something. I had like come home and Cody's like, okay, put on your dress. Like we're going to the fundraiser. And I was like, what the fuck do you even mean yeah. by that? So I'm wearing like yellow shoes and like a pink dress. Like nothing was cute. It That's was just bad. Interesting. Anyway, so I'm sitting there and, you know, finally had a couple drinks. I'm like a little bit more relaxed. And <laughs> Charlotte was like next to me. Like we were, you were like with the people that we were with. Yeah. And so we're like standing there and I hear her and she's like talking to this guy and she's like, why don't you go talk to that girl? And she's like trying to like tell this guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> he wasn't my type. That's to- That's fine. Like you, you, no shame in that. Yes. Yeah. And so, and so she's like, come on, like you have to go talk to this girl. Like she's obviously like, trying to like set him up with someone. And I just happened to be sitting right there. <laughs> and I didn't know you could hear me saying that. Well, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> Kill myself. And you were like, you have to go talk to this girl. And I was like, and he, and he turned around and we know each other. And he yeah. turned around and he's like, I'm not going to talk to her. Like that's, like I know her boyfriend yeah. and I was like, so then you, like, we kind of like looked at each other and I was like, be honest, like, you really think like, that's the best I could do. <laughs> and she was like, you were like, what? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. And I was like, that was fucked up. And then we just kind of like, didn't stop talking. Yeah. And then we hit it off and then we decided that we no, should. Yeah, but even before this, I do remember this. I remember this is when I realized that I liked you. <laughs> like at, at some point in the restaurant, we were going like this to each other. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh do you my god, that? I totally forgot about that. <laughs> that's that's what I do remember. That I was just like, this girl so jokes. Like it's just so. T- we were literally like that's this. The new- yeah, like it's like the dumbest <laughs> fucking thing. I was like, no, seriously. I was like, this girl, like, wow, she slaps. that's yeah. how you knew. Yeah, that's how I knew. Wow. <laughs> I think I felt, I definitely felt like very comfortable talking to you for some reason. Mm-hmm. Like I was just like, she gets it. It's fine. Like I don't have to like worry about anything I say. Yeah. She probably understands. Yeah. <laughs> and you did. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but then we went to like an after. Mm-hmm. party and we ended up sitting in the kitchen yes just talking <laughs> we really like hit we this really hit like it off yeah that's interesting we actually really did like I remember my friend coming up to me being like are you good and I was <laughs> like sorry I'm actually with my new friends yeah <laughs> like I, I don't yeah. need you guys anymore <laughs> but I was like I like I like this girl and mm-hmm. then we like didn't exchange phone numbers yeah or anything <laughs> and then you were like we should be pen pals <laughs> and I was like Either she doesn't like me. Like, I remember when you, like, suggested this. I was like, okay. Either she, like, either she's wanted to do this for a while. She just didn't find the right person. And so she thinks I'm the right person. Or she doesn't want anything to do with me. And so she's like, no, we should be pen pals. Like, don't give me your number. I won't give you mine. But, like. Yeah, we should stay in touch. Yeah, but, like, let's, like, write letters to each other and, like, make it this thing that, like, we don't really, like, talk. And I was like. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted a pen pal, yeah. which I have. Yeah. Um, I feel like everyone always wants it. Everyone a pen pal. always wanted yeah. a pen pal. Mm-hmm. And um, they're usually like not in the same city. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Where, whereas we are. And like similar ish group of friends. Yeah. Like, yeah. Very, like yeah. mutual friends. Yeah. Um, but that's, it's, that's off the, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Besides the point. Yeah. Um, so then we, I like found you on Instagram. Yeah. I like looked, I went to like who like Todd, Todd was yeah. following and then typed in like Charlotte and then was like, oh my God, I think this is her. And then like, I love that. <laughs> followed you on Instagram yeah. and was like, so what's your address? Yeah. I and need then, to exchange addresses. And I, need, I need to send you back one. Yeah. No, you do. I like literally, I was like, I sent the last one. You did send the yeah. last one. So we have been sending each other 
letters letters and we are pen pals and we are pen pals we've been pen pals ever since we really have i'm really proud of us me too i really am proud of us i remember like the first because i was like okay i i have to actually send a letter like when we first agreed to do this i was like i can't like drop this bit like, yes i, I wasn't sure if it this. was a bit or not <laughs> no, no no i like was like you i have to commit yeah, to this, this yeah is, like, which i'm really thing. happy i was like stoked yeah I think I put it on my Instagram story and I don't put a lot on no, my Instagram you did story. Put it on your I was Instagram very story. excited. My first pen pal. You have to send me one too. I think the first one I sent you was from London too. So it took you like Oh yeah, because you were like it. gone. Cause then COVID happened. I guess that I makes like. sense actually, because if that was right before COVID, I went to London and I was in London for like six months. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you were like, you told me to, cause you were like, I'm, I think I'm moving. So mm -hmm. don't, I don't have an address to yeah. give you or something like that. Yeah. Which also could have been her trying to get rid of me. Yeah, no, but it wasn't. And now <laughs> I actually don't have an address. It's so crazy. Um, I don't even know why I suggested that, but I love how like you, you do the same thing as me where it's like, you just like assume the worst. Like, oh my God. I, I'm always Every just like, time. Yeah. I think it's the imposter syndrome thing. It yeah. may be. I like, mm. I will leave this and think about this the whole drive home and be like, <laughs> I definitely fucked that one up. Like, is that anxiety? Do you think? That I think. Part? I think so. I mean, it's yeah. like I overthink everything, which I think like is this is some form of anxiety. Like how? Like like what kind of overthinking? Are you like analyzing it? Are you like like is that like a anxiety that kind of spiral like in all negative, or is it like you're kind of figuring it out like intellectualizing it? It's pretty. It's pretty negative. Okay. <laughs> <Love> <laughs> Honestly, um, yeah. but it's. I am able to like talk myself out of it, mm -hmm. but like I, I have a hard time. Um, I don't know. Like I have a hard time deciphering between like a gut feeling mm -hmm. and like me overthinking about something. What do you mean a gut feeling? Like, I'm like, is this a, is this a bad situation? Oh. And like, should, like, am I having a gut feeling that this is a bad situation or am I overthinking and overanalyzing this entire situation and everything's actually fine, but now I've made up all of these reasons why it should be bad. Yeah. And so it's like, should I be trusting my gut? Yeah. Cause there have been times when I have trusted my gut and I was right. And it was like yeah. a bad situation. And so now I'm like, well, that's my gut. Yeah. And it's like, it's really actually just you being Anxious. crazy yeah. and yeah. you need to relax. But just in stuff like this, I'm like, what if I said something? Yeah. Watch me get canceled. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll make sure I, I'll, everyone's <laughs> always so paranoid that it's going to come out bad. I'm like, I literally make everyone look like really good. But then it's like, I'm not saying anything bad. Like, <laughs> you're not saying, I, you know that, what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I really like, I should be fine, but it, yeah. It, we're all a little bit sensitive these days. Totally. We all are. It's in well, it's everyone's just looking for an issue. Totally. You know? And it's scary. Yeah. It's just like they're like literally scanning for an issue. And sometimes I find myself doing that too. Like yeah. I, I would never actually <laughs> care. Yeah. But like or like ever like be, make a comment ever. I right. literally never wrote a negative comment in my life. No. No. In my life. Like maybe when I was like twelve, maybe. I can't really recall my I can't really like call my behavior yeah. then. <laughs> Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, maybe it, I, I did actually start don't right even after your first negative comment. No, literally, you're like, like, I don't know. Literally. That wasn't. Like, I don't know if that was me. I have amnesia. Yeah, no, literally. Yeah. I'm like, I actually just don't want to lie and be like, maybe I did when I was 12. But I really yeah. like, I have no desire to do that. Right. But I do still find myself like, because it's now it's like part of us. Everyone has to be perfect. You right. know, you can't say one wrong thing. So sometimes I'm like, but I, and then I catch myself. I'm like, this is so fucking crazy. It's insane. Yeah. I yeah. know, but I I feel the same. Like we're yeah. all looking. I guess it's like a critical part of us too, maybe. Cause some people are highly critical. I'm, yeah. me and my sister were talking about this. I'm yeah. I feel like I'm pretty critical. Yeah. Because then you, then you do it to yourself, you know? Yeah. Cause there's some, if you, if you constantly are like kind of like thinking the worst of yourself or like being like, this is no, this is no, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah. You tend to do it to other people as well. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I feel like I like generally like when I'm thinking about myself, there, there's not that many like negative thoughts. But then when I'm like involving someone else, yeah. then I'm like, what if I, yeah, what if I did something to like offend them? Like, I don't want to like mm -hmm. ever. Do you feel like that in person too? Like when you're having conversations just in person? Yeah. Like, like sometimes, like, especially like say I'm like drinking or something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, the worst the next day because I'm like, what did I say? Yeah, that's common. That, that makes is sense very to me. common, yeah. but it's just like, like the Sunday scaries or whatever yeah, they're or called. Like yeah. Anxiety is that what they're is anxiety? <laughs> yeah. I've never heard that one it's like that. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's <laughs> <laughs> a cool term. Um, but I just like I I just like don't. I feel like I'm pretty like I. 
you got it when mm-hmm. when we met like yeah. you <laughs> I didn't feel that like scared about anything yeah. I said to you but like there are some people where I'm mm-hmm. like ooh yeah I don't think that joke went over <laughs> yeah too well yeah. you know yeah I guess it's like like just being like comfortable like with yourself though that you like still portray your full personality and like it's not you also understand that it's not going to land with like a 10 percent of people 90 yeah. percent of people are going to be like so happy to get this like full version of yourself yeah and then just everyone it's a universal thing right. there's right. always 10 percent of people yeah. that don't really get it yeah you know it's true but I guess it's cool that you're able to do that, like opposed to being shy or whatever it is where you just don't really say. Yeah. You're I, full. I like to think expression. I'm shy. You do. I'm like, but I'm just not like, yeah. I, got, I have to stop <laughs> saying that. Like, I'll be like, I'm just, I'm just kind of shy, but it's like, no, you're fucking not. You're How not do shy. you like define shy then? Like what, like in your mind, like why, where do you like? I ass- think because I get nervous okay. before situations, mm-hmm. but then once I'm in the situation, mm-hmm. like. I'm totally fine and I'm like talking to everyone and like (laughs) completely okay. But like, I think I just, I don't think about like the outcome. I think about how I felt before and that's like, oh my God, like who am I going to talk to or what am I going to say or whatever? And then I do it and I'm like, oh, Mm -hmm. oh yeah, I'm, I'm not shy. Like I need to stop stressing. I need to stop thinking about the initial thing and think about like how it always turns out because it always turns out Mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. It's interesting. Like that you can't like, I guess this is like kind of not universal, but it's so common that you can't like quiet that voice over time, especially if you like trust yourself in the situation. Yeah. You're like, I know once I'm there, I'll be right, fine. Right. But you still get anxiety before yeah. and then yeah. you kind of like write it off as shyness. It's just interesting. I know. Like why you can't quiet that voice like over a amount of years. I Like why? Yeah. Like why can't you shut that off? I don't think you ever will be able to. I don't, think, don't think so either. So? No, I think that you Right. Yeah. Okay. Here's that voice again. All right. Right. Which is where I think I'm probably at. But like, it still like happens. Yeah. Like I'm able to like talk myself off the ledge like pretty easily. Mm -hmm. But like, I still get there. Yeah. But then it's like, I'm able to be like, no. Yeah. You're fine. No, I guess you're right. That voice doesn't go away. It's like part of your brain. It's like genuinely part of your like like reasoning skills is having that voice that's negative that says like don't do this this looks stupid if it's not there yeah, I feel like if it, you're almost like like a it, like incompetent almost yeah, to a degree yeah or like that you know there's some people who have like a delusional confidence that I'm like kind of like so I'm jealous of those me too. people me I'm too. like that's what I'm saying fuck. yeah like, it's like the you, people yeah that's what I mean it's kind yeah. of like but they it's like it comes down to they, they don't know how much they don't know. You right. Know? So I it's think like there, there has to be that voice is kind of duller. Yeah. 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 Not in a bad way. Like I respect it. It's right. just like it's a type of person. Right. There's so many types of people. That's a type of person. I think most people have come across. Yeah. And if it's you, it's fucking rad. It's pretty <laughs> exciting. Yeah, Good for you. I like to no, be literally. around you. Yeah. To a certain extent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In, in terms of like it's interesting because I've never like talked to someone on here about like imposter syndrome. Me and my sister always talk about this and it's so fascinating to me because I'm the same way. Like I have like mad imposter syndrome okay. like, and it's just fascinating. Like no yeah. one else has like yeah. m- brought it up on this podcast. Like, Do you have it like with work or like, I just have it as like my, myself. Yeah. Like it's like not even like my job thing. Yeah. Like it's just like me thing. I, right. I think it's just like, but that's what I like. I wanted to see if it was like, do you think it's like, like having like a low sense of like, cause like I like parts of me, like I, I agree with a lot of things that you're saying where you're like, I feel like I'm fine. And I feel like I can do this. And like, you have like a part of you that like really like roots for you. Yeah. And then a part of you that's just like, I don't know. Tell me if this is like, I actually don't know the answer to this. Yeah. Um, do you feel like it's like a low sense of self where it's like, why would they want to be hanging out with me? Like, why am I here? Like, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. I think for me, um, it's more just like, it's like, it feels like random. Yeah. It's not like, like, this, I don't want to sound like an asshole. <laughs> like, I don't want to be like, obviously everyone would want to hang out with me. <laughs> but, like, but like you have, that's I, good but to I feel think that like, way. I, I think I like can get along with most people. Yeah. And like, I, I'm not worried. Like, I think I can get along with a lot of people. And I mm-hmm. think that like, I'm fine in that way yeah I think it's more like 
it's it's not so much for me about like the one on one interactions with people or like the in person yeah. interactions. It's more like just it just feels so random every time that I like am doing this like mm -hmm. posting on Instagram or doing whatever. Like yeah. it just feels like random. I think because <laughs> my whole life it I was like that. I know I want to be a teacher yeah. and I'm gonna be a teacher and I still like that is still a part of my life. But like I just tapped into this completely opposite world that mm -hmm. like I never thought I would be a part of. Yeah. And so I'm still trying to like navigate that. Yeah. And like accept it and like embrace it. Like and rise so, to the occasion kind of. Right. And instead of like just accepting it and embracing it, I'm like, this is weird. Like, mm -hmm. sure, I guess I get why people follow me. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> but like why that that kind yeah. of thing? I'm like, why are so many people following me? And like, yeah, do I have to like do something more now? Yeah. Because all these people are following me. Do I have to be like cooler? Or, like yeah. whatever. Like mm -hmm. that's where I start then I, maybe it is like, I yeah. start to like question myself, yeah. but I never really like succumb to that. Like, it's kind of the same thing. Like I get to that point, but I don't like, I like talk myself off that ledge. Yeah. Like, I'm like, no, you're fine. Like they follow you for a reason. You don't have to like, yeah. Try to yeah. be a different way now. See, this is what I mean with like that quality. Like it's like a quality of like, to not think too much of yourself, which like I find like, or I've, I've talked to like other people about, I talked to my mom's I think it's her ex-boyfriend now. I don't know. I talked to him about it and he, cause he's such a like, like low view of himself. And it's, and he said to me and I never forgot it. He was like, people have low views of themselves, like are the most genuine people. And I don't know if he's right, but yeah. like it kind of, he kind of had a point because like, it's like a, it's like an, a genuine, like endearing quality. Yeah. So it's, and then it's sad because it doesn't help people. Right. Especially I see it here. Right. Like it's the most, like the genuine people that can't, that don't really want to think like, but is genuine even the right word now I'm thinking about? It? I don't know. Like he just said this to me and like, it's just interesting. Like it just like that quality, like in LA, like doesn't help you. Like you yeah. actually need to have kind of like a grandiose sense. Of you self. really do. Yeah. Um, I think it's just, I think LA is just an interesting place. I mean, I've lived here my whole life. I'm from LA and I like, I think that people, everyone's just like trying to do really big things mm -hmm. and like wants to be People come here to be like something special, mm -hmm. I feel like. And so everybody's trying to do that. And yeah. so everybody, instead of like talking to each other and like forming like actual like healthy like bonds with people, people are just like trying to get to the top everywhere. And yeah. so like nothing is genuine in certain situations, like nothing is genuine. But if you surround yourself with the right people, like it really can be. Mm -hmm. But instead, everybody just gets involved with all these same people. And so everybody's just like competing with each yeah. other. And then everybody does have to be like everybody's trying to get to the top. So they have yeah. to be confident. They have to be this certain yeah. way. But then it just like takes the life out of you. Like yeah. no one's having like any like real conversations. Everyone's just talking about how great everything is all the time. <laughs> yeah. And it's like. So then they go home thinking that this person's doing so well. So then they get upset. So then yeah. they try to like one up, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and so I think you do need, you, you have to have this like delusional confidence but here. That's what I mean. Like it, and it's so, it's so like, sad. It's like, sad. Yeah. It's also like, it's so, I feel like it's more common for you not to have that. Yeah. And instead of people like accepting that side of other people and being like, let's work together mm -hmm. in like a healthy way. It's like, it just is not. I think it's different Helpful. too when it's like talent, like yeah. talent, like you need to have it. Like if you're like a writer, or create like a creative director, this, that, like you don't need to have this kind of grandiose sense of self. You just need to know how, know how to do your job well, yeah. show up, be a good boss, be a good leader. You can have all these things that are yeah. like really important. You don't need this like I rock. Right, I right. can rise to the occasion. I will post on my story 10 times because if people want to see me because why wouldn't they? I know what I'm doing. I know my shit's good. Right. I know I'm the best. Like that, like that quality, like if you don't have it, like you don't stand a chance. I like know. you just don't. I know, which is like, I, that's also like, I don't have that, but yeah. it's like, I'm trying to like stand a chance. And yeah, so it's totally. like, it's just yeah. hard. Cause it's like, I'm not going to change. Yeah. Not going to change myself. I'm not going to do something that like, I don't feel comfortable doing like if I don't feel comfortable posting on Instagram like I just yeah. won't do it mm -hmm. 
and I'm not going to just, I'm not going to do it because it'll like be good for my yeah. job. Like I'm not going to ever put myself in a situation where I'm feeling like I'm doing something I don't want to do. Yeah. I use, like, that's what I was doing when I was like in the nanny job or yeah. whatever. Cause I had to, I had no choice but to get by and I was just sad all the time. And yeah. now I'm in a position where I don't have to, to do something I don't want to do. Yeah. So I'm not going to. And so like, if people don't like that, then like, like I said, like, yeah, at least, I don't know. I'm, I would rather still have like myself at the end of the day and instead of like a huge yeah. career rather than like have a huge career and lose who I am. Yeah. I, as I started doing this like a little bit longer, like I just am kind of like, I feel like this world, like the internet world, like YouTube world, like yeah. honestly needs someone who's just like normal. Totally. I agree with that. And like, I feel like I'm, I've stayed normal and I am normal. Yeah. And so like, I want to like keep doing what I'm doing. I don't, and, I, and like not, try to not not do more because I do want to do more but I think I think you can do more and like stay true to yourself yeah and like I want to do that because I think that like everybody who's watching the people who are on YouTube are those people who have like yeah the crazy confidence but the people who are watching like your audience are mm -hmm. the people who are like going to college and yeah. working jobs that like everybody else has always worked yeah but that because YouTube just started what 10 years ago and so it's like we got, we have to show those people that it's like okay yeah. that like that's that's their life and like that's my life like yeah. it's like it's okay to go to school and it's okay to work a normal nine to five mm -hmm. job and like it's okay to just go home and like eat dinner like yeah. you don't always have to be doing something crazy yeah. to feel like that you that you've succeeded in life like yeah. it's okay to be like just yeah. a normal like, person yeah. yeah and I I think if we sit and compare ourselves to like everybody else who's doing what we're doing like it just gets difficult and yeah. like I understand that people want to watch YouTube because it like they get to see this like grand side of life a yeah. or at least for a, a lot, lot yeah, of people. Some, yeah. But like I like my the people who watch my videos because mm -hmm. they like appreciate the like sometimes I'm like sorry I didn't do anything in this vlog and everyone's like <laughs> it's fine like I didn't do anything either. I love that. And it's like it's just nice like I I would say I'm doing like pretty well. Mm -hmm. And so and like and I have stayed true to myself and I haven't had to like do things that I don't want to do yeah. or like succumb to like this, that crazy side of YouTube. And yeah. like, I'm happy about that. And I think like, I think, I think it just the like internet needs more yeah. normalcy. I no, I agree. That's why I respect like you and your content is cause like you, like I, I see that side of you. That's just like, this is me. And like, I don't have this kind of like view of myself. That's like most of people right, in LA right, do, right. You know, it's just like, you're just like, no, like as you said normal yeah. like I define that as like normal yeah almost, yeah you know and that's why I like when I met Cody and I like he was like doing YouTube and stuff and I was like this could be really weird but like or like he could be like mm -hmm. someone that I probably wouldn't get along with yeah but like his best friends are just like his friends from forever yeah. ago and like he like I don't know it just and that's why I think like him and I get along so well is because like we're just like out in Venice like yeah doing our own yeah. thing like we're like it but can like can enter like you know what I mean like can have entertain. friends yeah, like yeah. you know can go yeah. into West Hollywood and like have yeah. fun but like are able to like retreat a little bit maybe it's just because we're like old yeah but like you're not old <laughs> but like I hate when people who are like like either like around 30 or like in even like early 30s like stay old and you're I like know. literally like 20 I know. it's just like it's so like it makes me like sad like it's just it, it's just I think it's just like this it's only he, like it's in, LA it's, yeah it, because like because everybody can start doing what they want to do really young because people yeah, like are just doing 14, like entertainment yeah. stuff and so like you don't need to go to school or you know, whatever, as I just told everyone to go to school, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But like, you just like, you can like start a career very young and then mm -hmm. you don't have to go to school. And so yeah. like everyone just starts really young and like, yeah, fucking vibes out here in LA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so I think like people are like so insanely successful at like 19. Yeah. And so then when like 
Cody and I like walk in, it's like, oh geez, no one. Here I they think, are. I think the you, oldies. I feel like you feel that way <laughs> when it's you, but like no one when you're younger looks at the people who are older like that. Do you agree? Like when there's people who are older than you in the room, because I never feel like oh they're older than me. Yes. I'm just like oh I'm no. glad you're here. Yeah, you know? I yeah. don't think I don't think everyone's like oh my god like ew. Get them out of here, but like it's more just like, <laughs> yeah, oh god, who brought these two in here? But I don't know, like it's just like Cody and I sometimes are like, oh my god, like what do we talk to these people about? Yeah. But then, but then it's yeah. like it's fine, like I don't know, like Emma mm-hmm. is like a close friend, mm-hmm. and I think that's we've just known her for a long time, and like. She's like a little sister to me. Yeah. But like when I'm hanging out with her, like I don't feel like I'm sitting and talking to like a 20 year old. No. Yeah. And so like then I'm like age doesn't matter. But then there are other times when like I meet other people and I'm like, I got to go home. Like (laughs) I I feel it's taxing. Yeah. 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 I think it's it just like the part of it that makes me sad is like because I see it so much in L.A. especially like it's just like it's your 20s. Like it's like objectively like kind of like the prime of your life like, yeah and then people even argue at like your 30s because yeah. everyone's like secure with themselves you have yeah. money now mm-hmm. that's technically like the real prime of your life right but, like 20s is like like the youth like the right. real youth so yeah it, it's, it's like, like where you like find yourself totally and, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's just like why um if we like already feel like that like in our 20s i feel old like yeah what a waste of like of your life right to spend like your right. 20s feeling like yeah. that when it's like it, when you're at 50 years old you're gonna be like why the fuck at 28 or whatever mm-hmm. at 23 or like whatever age you are like yeah. did i spend feeling old i should yeah. have like reveled in the fact right. that i was 20 I in my 20s know. you know yeah that's what i'm just like no like when people it just like makes yes. me it's just like no it's just I, not true i feel the same way like cody and i like sometimes we're like should we have like we should ask, should we act older like there are times when we're like should we really be like doing what we're doing yeah you know but then like we're just like having fun i don't know whatever like i don't yeah. say i like the fact that we still have like a pretty youthful energy i would yeah, say totally but like some of my friends like i have a couple of friends who like just turned 30 and like sometimes they'll be like oh well we're 30 now and i'm like no what no don't say that please like we have to keep <laughs> the, the youth towel. alive yeah. like we are young yeah. like i i really i think i just like i joke about like us being old just because it's like comparative i have like i have would say i have like a solid amount of friends who are like younger than mm-hmm. me and like i you would or wouldn't i would okay say like i and like just talk like i don't mm-hmm. i don't feel like there would be an age difference between us yeah. right now like yeah there's i agree not. yeah um but like if i think about like 23 year old me yeah like she wasn't definitely not she wasn't as put together as you are. <laughs> like, and, like, I'm just like, Thanks. I like, I, I don't know. And then I'm like, am, do I just have like, did I just like grow up slower? I feel that way too, though. I yeah. feel like, do you feel like you were a late bloomer? Totally. I was. I was. My I friends was. pointed it out to me. They're like, one time we were having like a truth circle, one of those. And they okay. were like, yeah, Charlotte, you were like kind of like a late bloomer. And I was like, what? I and mean, like, it was so confronting yeah, to no, me. I was a late bloomer. <laughs> yeah. Like, like how so? In like every way you could like, like, like what do you mean? Like ask it. Like like, I, like, like anyway. when did you have, like your first kiss? I was seventeen. Okay. When did you like lose your virginity? I was twenty. Okay. When do you, when do you have your first boyfriend? Seventeen. Okay. Okay. Wait. So you so your first boyfriend you didn't sleep with? No. Okay. Love that. Mm, well, it was <laughs> that was a weird one. Yeah. That was a, a weird how. <laughs> Like <laughs> we we went to Catholic school. <laughs> just, uh, like, the fact that you like laughing can't even say the story. I don't know. This is what, what I'm talking about. Like, I, this is what I will think about when I on my drive home today. <laughs> but like I, um, I, like we went to like a Catholic school. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. It was just like, that. Like having sex was like a really big deal. Like I yeah. remember. Like, are my, you Catholic? I grew up Catholic. Okay. Okay. Um, but like I don't. I don't really like practice any you don't. religion. Okay. No. Um, but I like my family will like go to church on like Christmas. Yeah. But okay. like, yeah, there's no like, so did they kind of lose their kind of like not faith, but like their, um, like, like, did they kind of like loosen up over time as well? They did. Yeah. My mom teaches at a Catholic school. Okay. Um, what what so does she I teach? She teaches, oh, she used to teach eighth grade. Now she teaches sixth. Okay. Um, so like, and like, 
Did she have to teach them religion in that? Yeah. Okay. Um, but my parent, like my dad's Jewish and my mom is mm-hmm. Catholic. Oh, and I so like religion has, it's always been like, it was like nice to have something to believe in when I was like younger. Mm-hmm. I think like it led me on some, I wasn't like, and I wasn't like very religious at all. Yeah. Like my parents were never like super intense about any of it. It was just like, I would just go to church cause I went to a Catholic school. So I would go yeah. to church like once a month yeah. at school. And like, that was, it was just like a nice thing to do, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, My parents, like when I got old enough, they weren't like, no, you have to believe in this. It was more just like, yeah, it is kind of weird. Like we, like like we, it would like, we would all just kind of like talk about it. And it would be like, I go to church to make my grandma happy type of thing. Like, yeah. But, and my mom goes to church to make my grandma. Like, it's just like, cause she believes in it or she believed in it. And so like, does your mom, but your mom still is like a believer. And I think she, like lukewarm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know That's what I'm so allowed to say. Yeah. She like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you like, also, it, she yeah. never like forced. I just they never have like forced any religion on me yeah. or like any beliefs or any. Cause like the thing. chillest Catholic. The, oh, yeah. There, it's, it's awesome. I feel like Catholic is like a very like intense way. Like it. Yeah. It sounds very intense, but my parents are like really. They're just very chill and like yeah. very. We talk very openly about like drinking drugs Love like that. any boys girls mm-hmm. like anything like is very open mm-hmm. in my family um and so like t- there was religion involved but it was never like a main focus yeah at all I think it just gave me like some sense of like morality when I was like in high school mm-hmm. like I wasn't like saving myself yeah but like I just was like I'm probably gonna wait to like it's right until it's yeah. right yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. um but so my first boyfriend like we were like in high school mm-hmm. and I was like I just want to wait like a little bit longer like yeah. I was you know I was like scared <laughs> yeah. so I just like wasn't yeah. doing anything because mm-hmm. I was terrified um and I think my parents were like worried that I was gonna have sex yeah. but I was like and I wish I could, like, I wish I could, like, look back now and be, like, look at them and be, like, trust me, I'm too scared. Yeah. Like, like not all I want to do is kiss I right now. I promise I'm yeah. terrified. So, yeah. like, I, like, held out. And then he coincidentally, around the time where I was, like, feeling, like, ready? a little bit more okay. ready. And, like, I, like, trusted him. Like, you know, we had mm-hmm. been together for a while, whatever. He, like, found God. No. Like, very intensely. Okay. Um, and... So he was, he was a boy at your Catholic school, Mm -hmm. same age. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he like wanted to do it. Like wanted to have sex. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause he's like, like, no, 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 no. Like I kept saying no. And which he obviously was like fine with. And then I was like feeling more comfortable. Like I wasn't like, I think it's time, but like, I was just like more open to the idea. And like, as soon as I turned the page of being like, I feel like kind of like a grown up. Yeah. He like found God and was like. Like he like wouldn't kiss me. Like he, he wouldn't was kiss like, you? I'm not. I like I wasn't allowed to like kiss him on the cheek because he on said the lips or anything. No, like it was like. When did the, how did he tell you this? Like so like. Um, he. And what does he mean by fi- find God? Like how did he define like they, that? They they met these him and his brother like met these people mm-hmm. and um they like got the people were really religious and like they, they found, they found some sort of like solace or like happiness in what these people were telling them. Like they were believers in like, was it still Catholic? Okay. Like very intense Catholicism. Um, and so, and they were like, tried to get like their whole family on board, like their friends on board. Like they would have these like talks about like God and like the, big bang like all like I don't know it was weird and I just remember like he was like really trying to get me I think I think the goal was for us to both start believing in it and like get married at like 22 and start having babies Mm -hmm. but I just was like I just couldn't do it like I just I was like no this Mm -hmm. is I this makes me feel weird and like yeah this is bizarre and I was like in college, like I just joined his like sorority. And so you were I was in college. Like, how old were you at this point when you had this conversation? Uh, like nineteen. Okay. Um. And so, yeah, I was like, I don't 
they were like starting just to make me feel like I was doing something wrong for like being yeah. in college, being in a sorority. And I, I just knew that I was not doing anything wrong. Wait, so did he like suggest that you not do that? Like yeah. you not, you, he wanted you to drop out of school? It was, it was just, it was like, no, you can finish school, but like, do you really need to be like in a sorority? Yeah. And Interesting. Like, and I just was like, I don't know. I was just like, I know I'm yeah. not doing anything wrong. And maybe like, like I said, like, I feel like I've always had a pretty strong sense of self. And so even then I was like, this is weird. Yeah. Like, why are you telling me this? I know I'm not doing anything wrong and you're mm-hmm. making me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah. And then he like, we didn't kiss. He was like, you're lucky I'm even saying I love you to you. Like, what the- that should be saved for like. Interesting. Marriage. And like, I, who, whatever, like, if that's what you believe, like, yeah, totally. that's yeah. what you believe. Yeah. But like, that was not how I felt. Mm-hmm. And so I just was like, this is weird. And then there was just one day where we were both just like, I think we're like, go in two different directions. Was it kind of like a not, like it didn't even need to be said kind of thing? Or did you have a long talk? It, it didn't, we, we had a lot of long talks leading up to okay. it, but like at the point when it happened, it was like, we were both just like, was there any fighting over it? Like, was there any like frustration yeah, on his Yeah, there end? was like a lot of frustration on both of our ends. Okay. Because like, imagine like. How long were you dating total? Like two and a half years. Damn. Damn. Cause imagine like, yeah. So I was with him for like a year and a half and it was like a very normal like first love yeah like type of relationship it was like it was like kind of like kind of like set me off like trust wise I was like Mm kind of just worried that like people would just always change like drastically yeah because it was like I trusted it it was yeah yeah, it was just it was bizarre yeah it was a bizarre form of like like usually like you some they cheat on you and then yeah. you like have trust issues and then like you know that's like trauma in like a different it's, way it was just it's a, like a weird trauma. way to like yeah. form this like weird trust yeah. issue that's interesting you had like the car like the rug pulled out from under you yeah yeah it was just i just saw him like completely change and like but he he was like he like has never been happier i mean like he's yeah. like married and has kids and yeah. like that's what he wanted and like i I want him to have what he wanted. Like totally. I didn't, we don't need to be together. I don't even know him and I want yeah. him to have what yeah. he wants. Honestly, like I really do. Yeah. yeah like, like I'm, and I'm he glad does. he figured that out. Yeah. He does. I'm, I'm so happy that he figured it out. And I feel like, yeah, I mean, he's living his dream. Yeah. And I'm happy about that. And so that. are you. And, and so and am I. Yeah. yeah. And like, it, like a clear path that made sense yes. to you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. But that was my first relationship. This is so fun. Like just... I know, talking it's, podcasts are so much fun i know they're, they're very easy and they're like the chill. best yeah and it shows like a different side of everyone i feel like yeah no totally i'm glad i did it well thank you well thanks for having so me much. i was so excited when you asked me oh that makes me happy i'm so happy i'm so excited okay well you've been an amazing guest oh, i hope so cool and thank you goodbye thank you <laughs> goodbye <laughs>